Hey, what's up? Mike Locke here, ML Web Consulting. Thanks for checking out this video. So a while back, I put together a video on YouTube called uh, How to Design a Logo Using Adobe Illustrator. And this became one of my most popular videos uh, to date. And it seems like a lot of people were interested in, in learning how to do logo design. And um, what I wanted to do, or what I didn't do in this video, was just kind of demonstrate and show you what goes on in my in, you know in my process when I'm actually creating a logo and I think by showing you some of the techniques that I use it would uh, definitely help you out and you can learn a little bit from it and maybe apply it to to what you do today and uh, what I did was uh, <laughs> this is a blog post called uh, bad logo designs and many times when, when I'm helping you know designers who are just starting out they I think they, they just try a little bit too too hard and, and try to to they sort of reach too far and try to do too much with their logo when there's really no need need to um, to do that like if you look at these logos they're really they're just you know there's they're, they're trying to do too much and they're trying to put you know gradients where they really don't need to be there and just uh, they're just trying too much and what it does it takes away from uh, potentially a clean clean look and feel you know in, in regards to a layout or, or a website or marketing brochure and things like that so I wanted to give you a few few tips on on how I do things and maybe to, this can help you out um, first off when starting when I when I every time I start off with a logo it's really simple all I do is I want to make sure that my logo is simple clean and that it's scalable that it can scale against across uh, different different uh, mediums whether it's a, a packaging like this a bottle, uh, a box, a, a t-shirt, a bus stop, a brochure, a website, TV ad, anything. Just that's one of the things I keep in mind when I'm designing a logo and so I make sure that it's very simple and it can scale scale well. So so one of the things I do when I'm when I learn of the company that I'm designing the logo for is there's two things that pops into mind that that I already know that I want to go with. It's either going to be a sans serif font or a serif, you know? something like um, Helvetica which is the sans serif font which is you would normally see a hand, uh, this is like you know bold headlines uh, Arial and Helvetica style fonts and then you have the the serif fonts which are these little red brackets on the end and these these uh, serif fonts and typefaces are used more so towards um, more classy type of companies you know like Tiffany and Co and uh, um, law firms may use that or just any style you know wedding agency might a wedding uh, consulting agency might use that style font so those are the two things that that I the two choices you pretty much have and when I start designing a logo what I do is I open up fireworks I don't sketch anything out I just basically uh, open up fireworks and I just start typing away so let's say I'm designing uh, a logo for a company called Mickey Mouse. Basically, what I'll do is figure out if I'm going to use serif or sans serif. Uh, let's just go with a, um, a sans serif font. And what I do is just start typing it out. Now, this font choice here is Helvetica, as you see. Um, and what I normally do is I'm going to give it, because there's two words, I normally separate the two words and I give one, I make one bolder and then the other. So I might do. Uh, Mickey in in bold, and what I'll do is I'll thin out the thin out the Mickey Mouse so that uh, it has a little contrast there, and it's pretty much it's it's clean. So, looking at this font already, what I do is when I if I type it out, and it actually I'll step back from my monitor and I'll look at it, and I'll think you know if it looks good or not. If it doesn't look good, I'll continue to play with it. I might move this down here, you know, or or move this on top or things like that or I might bold the mouse part I might thin out the Mickey part and I'll play around with it and once I once I sort of like uh, the the approach that or, or the the typeface and, and the look and feel I might then go ahead and try to build an icon around this 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 name so let's look at uh, a logo that I put together for uh, bigger fish same approach here you know this is a Helvetica extended font so you have vigor and this is lowercase vigor fish 
this is bold and um, this is thin and I just changed the colors a little bit on these two and once I was happy with this particular typeface what I did was I played around until I got a nice icon that sort of uh, meshed well with this logo alright so it's that simple it's not like anything here you know you don't have to go you don't have to do all these different things and 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 screwing up your logo just basically keep it clean simple and check out this this blog here this is 40 excellent Helvetica uh, logos if you do a search for that and just find this blog post and this will show you how Helvetica can, can be used basically um, in many different ways all these logos are simple clean and they're big brands million dollar brands using a simple typeface you know in Helvetica and what you can do with Helvetica is just give it you know its own treatment and what it will do is just make it different from any other Helvetica logo that you see out there just by giving it a little icon or something like that and a nice little different color treatment so basically that's how I've done with uh, that's what I did with Vigorfish that's what I did with uh, uh, created a logo for Fox Audience Network basically same approach just keep it simple there's no flashy you know flames or anything like that or gradients just very clean and simple and um, did the same thing for newcars.com uh, basically clean logo here this one didn't have a, need an icon to go with it but this is the rounded um, sort of uh, sans serif font so basically what I do once I'm once I'm happy with my logo um, I'll then go into uh, Illustrator and then I'll finish it off so if I play around with let's uh, um, like I created this 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 uh, logo here called Big Bear Lake um, so if I was to to play around with this and and uh, I like the way this looks in fireworks what I would do is then finish it off in uh, I would repeat the process in uh, Adobe Illustrator um, and basically finish it off uh, for for completion now basically what I did here was I g did an example I um, I found a site called uh, Big Bear Lake and I recently visited Big Bear Lake and uh, I was thinking like if I was to redesign this site and this logo um, what type of uh, design would I come up with and so I I basically came up with this sort of look and feel this nice strong font you know I think it can be used um, against you know I can it can be seen on different t-shirts and sweaters and stickers on cars and things like that so I thought this this treatment would be nice you know big is bold Helvetica you know this is Helvetica 95 black this is Helvetica 35 thin and the leg portion is uh, Helvetica 65 medium so and then I did a concept uh, for a website that uh, this would this would fit well so you can see the logo how it fits here Big Bear Lake you have the navigation bar you have the billboard and uh, this is basically just a concept of how I would uh, you know change up this particular site and how well this this logo might work with it it's just simple it's clean and what it does it doesn't take away from the the overall design so basically that's my approach on designing logos I say keep it simple clean and um, don't try to do too much with it all right so hopefully this was helpful you learned a little bit from this and uh, if you have any questions shoot me an email mlock at mlwebco.com and we'll talk soon all right